So here we are in Hollow Mountain, and I wanted to show off Reglo's newest invention, which is pretty clever. So a lot of people have been making these, these little, uh, what I call a cyclotron, which basically minimizes the amount of gold you need to get a big acceleration boost. The usual cyclotron is, you know, you go in one of these loops, and uh, you then have a long delay, and eventually you shoot off. Well, the trick with the long delay is a lot of people just use repeaters. You know, these little fellows here. And uh, you put, you know, 30 or 40 repeaters in a row, and that gets you your delay. Well, Reglo's idea is to use dispensers instead of repeaters, and to uh, have the blocks float down the river. So what's happening is that that dispenser uh, shoots a little cube out, it gets to this plate, and you can see when I step on the plate that uh, it's it's uh, switched that little switch right there. So anyway, what you do then is get in and start her up, and as usual you get dizzy, right? So in the meantime, that sent off a signal to have the dispenser shoot out a little cube. The cube comes floating down the river, eventually hits that plate, and we'll pick it up as we go. And uh, and that's about it. So anyway, let's uh, let's show you another design. So here I am at the teapot, and I thought I'd show two enhancements to the uh, water cyclotron, and show how they uh, performed basically. So here are the two enhancements. I've added a second dispenser, so that'll give me a longer delay, and I've added more powered rails per uh, unpowered rail, as it were. So the way this works is just simply by uh, by having more powered rails. The theory goes that that should give me more boost per second. Basically, I'm going over more powered rails versus unpowered, and the second dispenser should give me a longer uh, looping time, which of course it does. It makes a loop about twice as long. So the second dispenser is dropped off this cube. It's about to hit here, and the thing shoots off. Well, it turns out neither of these really adds all that much. The second dispenser is worthwhile. It uh, gives you about a 15% extra boost. Um, surprisingly, not much more than that. So I suspect you can get by with just adding a few repeaters instead of a whole second dispenser. And the uh, the very surprising result to me was that having a little for loop, like we saw in the first part of this video, that that gave me about the same amount of boost as this larger loop. Uh, I have no idea why. I don't know if it was just lag or bad luck with timing or whatever. But for some reason, it basically turned out to be about the same amount. Anyway, those were the interesting results. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video and the idea. I think it's pretty cool. It's a great way to save gold. And, oh, I should mention one other thing, is that part of this design, these two plates here, uh, well, anyway, these plates need to be next to the rails so that when you shoot off of the loop, you pick up the little cube so that the, uh, the, the whole circuit is reset and the next person along can, can use this thing without any problems. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.